Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm unboxing a painting that I am doing for the Run Free DP Along. Last month it was the Fly Free DP Along, but this month they're doing the Land Animals, which is being held by Mindy's Diamond Moment again. This woman is a boss woman when it comes to running events. She does the chuck along. She does so many. Then also the other person doing it is Angie, who is the craft NATO. Had so much fun with the fly free uh, DP along. I did, ended up doing three, but this month it's fairly, it's a fairly new release, but not a super new release. This is just the perfect one. This one is, the picture is long, so I'm going to like put it this way. I'm going to bang something. It is an evening stroll by Deborah Malcolm. So it is 20 by 22 uh, inches and hopefully I can get this done this month. I haven't had time to even work on my chuck between doing the office and going through all of the junk that's in here. Let's open the package. I'll show you this first. So that is the little sticker that comes with it and I put it in my drawer. <laughs> And let's just quickly open up the new tool kit. Now I did this on the last one, but this one, yeah, this one actually doesn't have any of the washi tape in it. So this one comes with a clear pen. It comes with your two plates of heart-shaped wax in the container, so that's really cool. Um, this cover binder, oh, it's pretty. It's a little feather. Now, why couldn't I have opened up that last month with my Fly Free DP along? event but that's really pretty it's cute and then you get your seven placer and your four placer a squishy clear pen and the new trays that have the stopper in it which is good I actually um, used I'm, I don't usually use these smaller trays very often but I did use this tray last month and then of course you get your baggies if you want to bag uh, your diamonds instead of putting them in some other storage. I'm gonna move that off to the side. I think this is one of the bigger ones that I've unboxed. So let's just open this up. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to uh, get this whole painting in the frame. But you guys, okay, that is a big bag of drills. Wow. Look at this. Okay, first of all, there is like nothing to dislike about this painting at all. So this is the water, the reflection of the moon. Is it the moon or the sun? I mean, it's orange. Might be the sun, but it's at dusk. That's the that's the vibe I get from it. But with the the tr oh, just look at the elephants. <gasps> it's so pretty. This is gorgeous, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you the big picture. Uh, just so you guys can get a better view of this. Look at that painting. I just love it. I love it. Is there any 310 in this? There is some 310, but it's, I thought up here would be the three, like at the top would be the 310 according to the picture, but it's not. Let's just look at this. So 44 colors on this one. Um, it has one, two, three, four four ABs. Looks like a pink, um, a gray, a yellow, and a green. I love the green ABs. And actually I can see they're in the tops of the trees here. So that's number four. And we will look for the other ones uh, once I have gone through the painting and the drills. I don't have very good light. Sorry, I know this side of my screen is a bit darker. It's, I'm not using my umbrella light. Let's see if I can I just don't want to get the glare on here. Wow, this is so, so nice. So drill field, I mean, look at it. Super, super clear. It is a round, which I'm happy because both of the ones I did last month were, both of the ones that were actual paintings were square last month. Um, so round is a, always a nice break. I love the, the water and the reflection of the trees into the water and the reflection of the sun into the water. I just love it. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna take a quick look at the drills. Oh, I was gonna tell you. Okay, I'm just gonna show you this really quickly. So that's the picture off of the website. Yeah, 40 colors with four ABs. 
uh, so 44 in total, and 50,347 diamonds, 28 by 22, which is 71 centimeters by 56. Actually, that does sound very similar to my um, chuck pencil. So just going to move that out of the way, and let's get these really quick here. So I've got three packages of diamonds, drills, and I'm going to start with I always do this backwards. All right, so starting with 310, there is one bag of 310. And then it looks like we have two bags of the 321, two bags of 815, two bags of 947, lots of oranges and reds, uh, 606, 823, 743, 820, 600, 3854. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen that color before. It's really pretty. It's like a peachy uh, orange. Very pale. Uh, 3371, 150, 890, 796, 718. And here is our first AB, and that is 113. That's the pink one. So pretty. Uh, and then 961 is the first section of dragon or dragons I just said dragons what the heck is wrong with me <laughs> and then second bag here um, we've got 498 we've got 740 like I said lots of oranges and reds in this one another oh this is 666 uh, another 814 hang on a second here oh no that was 815 two bags of 814 uh, one bag of 915, 742, a C742, and 741, and lots of my paintings so far. And then two more bags of 310, so three in total it looks like. And then the last row of drills is, sorry for the noise guys, 129, which is like a butter yellow with the AB coating on it. That's pretty, and it looks like there's a green hitchhiker in there. Uh, 895, uh, 832, which is kind of really tan color, not a lot of that one, uh, 797, and then 117, this is, I've never had this color before, that's really pretty, it's like a creamy color, I thought it was gray, I mean maybe it is a version of gray, but it's really, really pretty, uh, 904, 779, 762, 939, 38, 35, 208, and there's the green, 134, which I just love that color. I've, that was in Shufa and it was in the birds as well. Um, 333, 415, which is a gray. Ooh, this is a really pretty, kind of like a dusty rose gray. 3861. Uh, 3746, 340, 336, 166, and 327. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And let's now look to see where on the canvas we can see these ABs. So um, for those of you who are new to Diamond Art Club, I said this in my last video as well, but just in case this is the first one you're watching, super soft canvas on the back it's really soft and it also has this really neat ability to kind of lay flat if you've worked with budget paintings you know when they roll them up and you roll them out they don't want to lay that flat very quickly but diamond art club paintings do really well in that respect you've got your legend on the top left and then you also have it on the bottom right and then of course on the left as well you have the thumbnail at the bottom of the painting along with the information on the artist, the size, and the name of the painting. And then and then along the bottom you also get, sorry I'm trying to make this, there we go. You also get their social media contact information and then just a little note about their um, lifetime guarantee. Their canvases are gorgeous. They feel gorgeous. 
placing the diamonds is so nice. It really is a pleasure to work on these canvases. So if you've never tried a diamond art club, I would absolutely recommend that you go and try one. And just to let you know down in the description box, I will have a code to get, I think it's 10% off, might be 15, but might be 10, I don't know, go take a look. I just don't have it in front of me to be able to tell you, but, um, and that would be for, for new Diamond Art Club uh, subscribers only. Okay, let's find these ABs. So we've got some four, I see right away, uh, fours there and there, and then again at the top of the trees. Uh, so basically in the shoreline, and at the top of the trees. That's where I'm seeing the number four. Uh, number three is 129. It's kind of a yellow. So I see it definitely in the sun. There's a lot of it in there. A um, little bit in the water. I see a tiny bit here and here and here and here. Um, I think that's the majority. I see a bit there. Oh, you're probably not seeing that. Sorry, there's a little, there's some threes there, and then down here, and in through here. So, in there. And then the number two, this is a different color, and I'm just trying to think where, what that's going to look like on the canvas. Number two, where do I see two? I cannot find it. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Okay, so there's some two in the, the reflection in the water here. I see some two. Uh, and then a little bit over here. That's the only place, a little bit here. That's the only place I've been able to see it so far. Uh, it doesn't mean that is the only place, but that's where I'm finding it. And then the last one is the number one, which is the pink. Now, where would I? So water, oh, there's quite a bit in the water all in through here. A um, little bit here, here. I hope you guys can see that. Um, any more over here? Yep, I'm seeing a little bit on the edge over here. Is there any up? Oh, I found some more number two along the edge of the sun. Uh, but number one we're looking for, right? No, I'm not really seeing any more. Like the top of the painting doesn't look like it has any ABs at all um, that I can see offhand. So I think mostly those those number ones are in the water here. Uh, there's a little bit over here too in the sun. Um, but that's about it. So it looks like the majority of the ABs are from like here down, like just from the sun down. Um, and then the top is, which kind of makes sense because it gets darker as it goes higher um, and there isn't really a need, in my opinion, to highlight that. But the reflections off the water, it just totally makes sense. And the reflection off the tips of the trees, I think that's going to look so, so nice. So one more time, just going to bring this up so you can see. <laughs> I don't know what I just knocked off. Okay, like, look at the definition of those trees. It's kind of looks so nice, you guys. Wow, I hope I uh, have, I just knocked off my Xyron sticker maker now. That's how big this canvas is. Um, and I do, just a little tip for you guys. Uh, where did I stick them? So I bought this pipe insulation off of Amazon. Um, and it has, this is just a small piece of it that's left from um, a cut that I made. But you can cut them to whatever length you or width you want. And they split. They have a, a slit in them so that you can actually fit them over the edge of your painting like that and then roll your painting. So that's how I manage when it's this big of a canvas because my desk just is not big enough as you heard. Uh, me knocking everything off. So I'm able to roll it up and then I just use little um, like wonder clips or just like little they're, they're like they look like that and then I just clip the um, the edges into the circle so that they stay nicely put together. Works really well for wrangling in your painting. 
so I'm just I just wanted to share that with you it, um, it but it this it's like a foam uh, pool noodle except for these ones are a lot more skinny they're they're way more skinny now I think that's all I have to show you with this let's just pull this back really quick and feel the sticky feels fantastic Yeah, feels really good. Oh, I can't wait to start working on this. So the event, this is actually um, May 1st today. And so the event started today. Um, but I'm going to kit this up also. So the kit up I'm going to do um, in time lapse mode. I will be back in a minute once I have the painting out of the way. And we will get started with that process. Maybe I'm a bird. Following the seasons This is what I've learned I'm different for a reason Kept the engine on Never stay too long I'm alright, I don't mind being restless Something in your eye Made me stay all night I can see you are different too all kitted up. Um, I did, was able to get it all into one tray. I was not sure with those bigger bags that that was going to happen. And I don't know if you guys noticed during the time lapse, but static is an issue. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Um, my The earlier diamond paintings I did with Diamond Art Club did not seem to have as much static. The last couple that I've worked on, I've had to deal with that. So I couldn't even get the bags off my fingers. I'd put them down and they'd fly right back up at me. I had a piece of bounce that I was like rubbing my hands and the bags on just to get them thrown away. Anyways, so here you have it. Deborah Malcolm's evening stroll all kitted up. I can't wait to start working on this. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I put this all together. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Um, and then also give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And come say hi over on Instagram at Donda's Life.
and I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Have a great day, you guys. Stay safe, hug your loved ones, and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye!